Hi, Ralph here, Noise Busters. This time I show you how to use an audio loop and then you can trigger your Eurorack with that. Um, so let's try this. So we have a loop here. And um, what we need is an, a thing called replacer. And then here you have this generator box where you can choose what kind of instrument you want um, to, you know, if, if I play this here, see these red things and the, the red ones are now triggering that generator. So now you can use any synthesizer um, or you can also use um, a CV instrument and um, here I change the gate to my ES8 output. So it's sending a trigger to this one and then the audio comes back from my IntelliJ case. So if I play now, you should... Yeah, now it's triggering. If I change here a little bit, And if you change the tolerance, you get a little bit um, more triggers into the sequence. Makes it a bit more funky and interesting also. And then of course you can uh, modulate the threshold that you don't get this loop thing happening and it changes over time. <clears throat> there are a lot of possibilities with that. So just to sh show you what's happening with another loop, just and this way is quite nice to get cool rhythms out of your rack easily. If you have any questions, let me know, subscribe to the channel, and see you in a bit, boy.